nice as you can see tonight I don't know why I'm whispering but I've come down to just to the far coast again it's roughly now um, I think it's about half past eight and tonight I just wanted to come down and do a little video really not much talking and just just kind of let the images do the talking for themselves if you will um, we've got these boats that I keep coming to but um, I think I've looked out again because at the moment you can see there's this like a weather front coming round towards um, towards the windmill and stuff and on this side here it's completely clear skies so there's just a tiny tiny if I turn the well I'm not going to turn the camera around but where the sun is at the moment it's this little tiny tiny band of cloud but the sun is poking through and it's just just leaving some beautiful colours we've got the dinghy there and you know um, like I say tonight I'm just going to go snap snapping around um, I don't think I'm going to talk you through the settings because really um, the settings are really simple I'm at 24mm, got the 1.8 lens on, a fixed prime lens so I have to move around a little bit more rather than the 24 70 um, I've got the 0 0.6, in fact no I've not tonight I've got a 0.3 um, soft edge grad I've got um, the polarizer on just to try and so we can capture some of this colour and it's just wonderful, I came here last night and I didn't do a vlog and I wish I did really but tonight the colours this way and believe it or not, you're not going to believe this, I'm not making up, but there's actually a branch that's left in the water there. Um, I might try and take a few shots of that. It's like, um, it's got a perfect reflection at the moment. Um, and it just looks, it looks, and honestly it has just landed there. Um, I've not moved it there, I've not fettled it, I've not uh, dragged it from the shore. That's where it stopped, so um, yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to crack on, take a few shots. I've been doing a bit of a time lapse. I've had the drone up, um, so... In between this and that I'm going to show a bit of drone footage and um, it's just simply stunning. I'm not too sure if you can see on this video or not but that band of cloud there and if I turn towards um, Winter Hill, it's, 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 it's slither now, it's turning slightly pink and it makes for a wonderful shot. Um, I've already done one workshop this week here on this location. Um, I'm open to doing some more so if you leave your comments down below or you go to the website. Um, very simple. Um, basic photography it's nothing too um, nothing too deep um, just just come down and enjoy yourself really um, I've got my neck my face covering so when I go to the shop later on after watch the football I think I'm gonna watch the football the second half but yeah I'm just gonna crack on and get a lot of shots <laughs> So basically, what I was saying a moment ago, I've kind of just spun the camera around now, and what we're doing is, it's not the shot I'm going to take, but basically I just wanted to show you just, just how beautiful, this is a video, I forget, this, has got, this is a video with no filters, nothing, no polarizer on, I've got a wide angle lens, so this here is just as it's set, I've got on, on this video at the moment, um, the white balance is set to um, just auto white balance, I think, or it's cloudy, in fact, on the video now as I'm talking, I'll try and change the white balance so I'll just set it to cloudy so that's normally the one that's 
near enough correct and you can just see these colors um, just see these colors now just look at that for a shot and the sun is just poking out and it's kind of lighting this boat up very 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 simple photography and um, what I'm going to do in a second is I'll just spin the camera around and talk you through what we, what we got looking towards um, south and towards Southport so here we are this is where the sun is setting and I've got the I've got the lens set up here I think I'm at f, f8 or f11 I think but you can just see these starburst or this this sunburst and what I'm going to do is gently if it doesn't judder I'm just going to turn the tripod head and we'll just pan around a little bit and as I was saying a moment ago there's this like twig it's almost like heart shaped but it's just stuck there in the water and I'll just pan around a little bit more I think I might have to twist the head a little bit to keep it level so we can just see that's what we're looking at um, towards Southport and it's just 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 wonderful to be fair the reflections so what I might do in a bit is I might just take a shot of that um, above us if I just tip the ca our camera up a little bit I'll just try and do this gently so it's not too distracting but if you just look up there now and turn the exposure down we've got these beautiful clouds that way and if I just pull it right to the front here the water's so still that we can actually see those beautiful clouds look just above um, so yeah very very simple tonight very very simple and when you go to these wonderful locations the the hardest part is making sure that you try and get out as much as possible because if you don't you'll miss these conditions uh, I know it's difficult for everybody and I know it's difficult in lockdown and for people's situations but you know um, You've just, we've just got to try really. So yeah, I'm going to crack on a little bit more. So again, what I've done now is I've come round a little bit. And I think if I just turn the exposure down a little bit there, um, you can just see this reflections now. It's kind of got the, I've got the band in front of me, and I'll just turn the exposure right up. Um, see if I can turn it up a little bit more. That's it, a bit better now. So I've turned the ISO up there because we're recording. And just for this scene here, it, I think we could do with a little bit more water. We've got a black line here, and people always ask me what this black line is. Because we've come right out to the water's edge, we've basically got we're kind of really low down, so we're we're about ten foot below. Um, below the actual road if you will and that's a sea bank over there so it's very difficult to kind of get rid of your horizons when you've got this little bank that goes right across the ribble there um, and it's just really really simple I'm doing lots of video tonight and I should actually be um, taking the shots so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave this camera going I think maybe doing a time lapse and then just crack on and get a few shots so I'll speak to you in a little bit hi guys so as you can see this is that twig I was talking about or this branch just here and what I've got is got the boat there, PN22. And what I've done is I've got this cloud, this weather front, just leading to a point there. I'm not too sure if I can move the camera just a little tiny bit that way maybe or a little bit. Just to tune it a little bit, but maybe there. And I'll take the shot. Um, and after that, probably, I'm going to call it a day because, uh, again, when I come down here, I've used all my life's up, I think. I think I've got all the... All the shots I want in about five minutes. It's very easy photography down here tonight. Um, very enjoyable too. And just at the moment, this I'll just turn this. Um, I'll just turn the rotate the head again. But as you can see, it is just a, just stunning to be fair. And all the clouds now are actually got starting to go pink. So um, yeah, I'll take the shot and off we go. So guys, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take one last shot. Just can't <laughs> I need to go home but I can't um, I can't leave to be honest so um, I've got this I've got this this twig I've got the boat there and I've still got lots of color but the the colors getting more deeper red as, as the night goes on I'll just lift the camera up a little bit which is videoing on it you can just see this band of cloud all the way around there there's the other boat and the other dinghy lift up winter hill all the way around towards the windmill it's like a weather front to be fair and we've kind of got it really good so I'm gonna take one more shot and then I'm gonna walk back to the okay. car so this is this is is going to be the actual final shot I should have left a long time ago but um, I just can't resist in the weather conditions like this so the plan is this is where the start of the shot is I think it's gonna lead up towards this boat here 
Um, we've got still got this colour. It's going. It's still going a beautiful red colour. Um, simple settings. I'm at ISO 64. I'm at f11, and I've got a shutter speed of half a second at the moment because the lights just dropped that little bit. And um, yeah, what I'm going to do tonight, as always, now is I'm going to post all the images at the end, and then you can enjoy them. Um, yeah. So what I'm going to do now is take one more shot and get myself home. Hi guys. Oh, as you can see, I'm back at the car now. I'm absolutely sweating. Just have to run across the mud and me, uh, in all the marsh money, me welly bob. So, uh, yeah, I hope you really enjoyed this vlog. I hope you enjoyed the footage anyway. And um, what I'm going to do in a second is I'm going to post all the images now. Um, I just think the one I got before with this like V-shaped clouds, um, it looks up, it looks stunning to be fair, and I don't think it's going to need too much editing. Very little processing. Um, there's a few dust spots. I think with this with these mirrorless cameras. Um, what I'm finding is that every time I go out, I'm having to clean them the when I come back. Um, I think it probably might need sending off and getting a good deep clean, but there's just a couple of dust spots. But apart from that, really, very simple edit. So what I'll do is I'll post them all now. I really hope you enjoy them. Until next time, take care.